Hey, Harry Wilmington here. And today we're answering the question, should you continue to date a woman that openly flirts with other people, even if part of that is her doing it at her job to make money? So there was a guy on Reddit that posted a question in an online forum called, am I overreacting? And his story, the title is, my girlfriend flirts at work. So for context, she's a bartender. And so I read through this and then I read through his follow-up and I thought it would be an interesting thing for you guys to see because some of you guys are going to go out there, meet a woman and start dating her, getting into a relationship and things are going good, but you're noticing she's maybe a little too touchy-feely with guys or maybe she like oftentimes wears things that are really revealing and you might be thinking, okay, I don't want to make this a big deal. I don't want to seem jealous. It could just be that's how she is, but they could actually be huge red flags to, to the kind of person that she is and what she may or may not be doing when you're not around. So let's read this guy's first post. So he says, am I overreacting? My girlfriend flirts at work. For context, she's the bartender at this place that let's just say it has a reputation for being frequented by horny drunk douchebags looking for hookups. Already not good. I hate the place. And ever since she got a job there a few months ago, I've asked her to quit several times since I know what kind of people go there and why. She insisted she is strictly professional at work, but a friend of mine went there to check. And sure enough, she was flirting with several guys that night. When I confronted her, she claimed that she only does it for bigger tips and it's not serious. She claims I'm overreacting but I feel my concerns are justified. Am I overreacting? So before I get into the follow-up post, this post got a lot of comments and the majority of comments were from both men and women that were saying, dude, you're being jealous. Man, it's part of her job. How dare you assume she's doing things because she's a bartender. And I'll read some of the comments that people left. Which one person said, I have a bunch of friends who work in the bar industry. Do they have to flirt with customers? No. Does flirting get you more tips? Absolutely. So you have to ask yourself if you can date a bartender, simple as that. Then somebody said, big facts, if she shows you nothing but loyalty and love, then just be happy for the extra income that she'll probably spend on you anyways, or get to a place where she can feel like she can leave that job and do something else. So they're putting it on him to come in and be Captain Save him to make more money to get her out of that job. But getting out of the job is not going to take away from the fact that she's being a flirty person when he's not around, you know? And I think that's the... The, um, the, un the lack of understanding that these people are having about this particular situation. So then this other person said, long time bartender here. I've had partners make the mistake of sitting at the bars I've worked at and getting their feelings hurt. I've never said anything inappropriate or disrespected my relationship in any way, but seeing me as a flirty person can hurt feelings. One time an ex got mad because I laughed at a guest unfunny joke harder than I laughed at his. Dating a bartender is not for the insecure. And by the way, you're going to hear this a lot from people, women in particular, when you're trying to explain about a situation that you're not feeling good with. You're going to hear, oh, you're you're just jealous. You're, you're so insecure. And I don't want you to mistake insecurity with you having an inkling that something is going on that you have a feeling about, okay? Don't let people gaslight you out of believing that the thing you're feeling is not a thing because many times it actually is. Now, there was one person on here that said, flirting is disrespecting your relationship. And then somebody wanted to come in and say, well, that depends, and always depends. That depends entirely on the context and the couple involved and what their boundaries are. If my girl is just flirting with every dude she comes across, then that's a problem. But if she if she flirting with the, the cops to get out of a ticket, if so, please do. Is she flirting with the bouncer in order to skip the line on a cold winter day? Eh, whatever. I've dated a bartender before. I wouldn't mind if she flirted as long as she wasn't taking home phone numbers. And then that previous guy responded and said, you should respect yourself more. And then this guy responded, respecting myself means dating somebody I trust who isn't going to turn me into an insecure Ian. Uh, I express the boundaries of which things that bother me and things that don't. I'll only date someone who can respect that. I'm not going to cry every time she smiles at a customer. I'm over those days. So again, comment after comment, trying to tell this guy he's crazy. He's being jealous. Yes, he is in fact overreacting. And then he gave an update like a couple of days later. And the update is this. He says, I'll keep it brief. It turns out she was cheating on me with a coworker. I found out from another coworker of hers. Needless to say, we broke up and it's been messy, but I appreciate uh, and assume you, I appreciate the assume you guys gave. 
and I'll work on myself to avoid making the same mistakes next time. So here's a guy that was made to believe he was overreacting for simply being a guy that was observant and looking at signs that indicated his girl may not be all that faithful. The biggest one, of course, being that she's being overly flirtatious. And people in that prior post said, he's how, how dare he be jealous and whatever. I, in my dating life, I've discovered and found that the women that I've dated that have had a high interest in me and wanted to respect me would not do the following. They wouldn't flirt with other guys. They wouldn't try to really be caught alone with other guys or be alone with even guy friends of theirs unless I was okay with it. And they wouldn't wear revealing clothing. Even like during the summertime when it's okay to wear like tank tops and show a little bit of cleavage, they'd be like, no, I only want you to see those things, Harry. And I don't want other people to be able to see me in that way because I'm not trying to get with them. So I'm not trying to show those signals. And that's the headspace that a woman with a good head on her shoulders is going to show you. All right. So when his friend comes back to him and says, hey, just so you know, your girls flirt with people at the bar. It's sad that this guy had to get gaslit and thinking like, no, that's just normal. You should be able to accept that because they're thinking, well, if she's out in public, even if she wasn't trying to flirt, guys will just take you looking at her a certain way or talking to her as trying to flirt. We're not talking about that. We're going to assume that women are actually smart people and that they know what they're doing and they understand when they're touching a guy a certain way, when they're doing a flirty laugh, when they're doing a head toss, when they're going to work wearing certain kinds of perfume, that they know what they're doing and that they're saying to the world, I am in effect potentially available for open flirtation. That is not the kind of signal that your girl should be giving to anybody else other than you if you were dating her. So the fact that this guy came back later and said, yeah, it turned out she was cheating. Yeah, so his instincts were right from the get-go. So I say this because, you know, guys, there's a difference between you're just jealous of everybody and if a girl that you're dating even looks at a guy in a weird way, you're going to assume some stuff. That's some stuff that, yeah, you got to do some work on yourself and get over. But if there are legitimate signals that a woman is throwing out, like, flirting with a guy, like openly laughing at a guy and pushing her boobs up around him. Yeah, these are all things and, and more signs. These are things that show that, yeah, she could potentially be trying to put herself out there to get somebody else other than you. And so when you start sensing these things and then you bring them to her attention and she's trying to say, uh, but it's not a big deal. And oh my God, like, how dare you? Whatever. Like, I think this guy said, he said, uh, she, when he confronted her, she claimed that she, she only flirts for bigger tips and it's not serious. Well, that was the wrong reaction because the reality is flirting is serious because flirting leads to handholding, leads to coupledoms, leads to dates, leads to hookups. And it all starts with that line of open flirtation. And so she's, and we'll say, hey, she's at the job. She's flirting with customers because she knows that guys are gullible and will give her money for it. That's still not good. It's still not good for her to use her sexuality to try to get things out of other guys when she's dating you. So all this to say, guys, Understand that if you are dating a girl and you notice her starting to flirt with other guys or do other things that seem like it indicates some kind of sexual attraction to other guys out there, this is not the kind of girl you want to keep around. I don't care how much how I don't care how much you care about her. I don't care how long you've been with her. The reality is this is a trash choice. And as such, you need to dump her. If she starts if you if you confront her, she starts saying, Oh, but this is why I'm doing it. She's not looking at the fact that this is bothering you and that this is actually not a good thing for a loyal woman to do, which means she's not going to get it until such a time as she finds the guy she's highly interested in and doesn't want to lose. Then she'll suddenly be like, oh, I totally understand and will potentially stop doing that. But even then, there are women out there that just legitimately are never going to be loyal and are always going to be about, well, I'm going to do what I feel like I want to do and darn what you want. Those women, long term, are going to be a hassle. And a lot of those women, fortunately will show these kind of signs early on in the relationship. But most men decide they're going to ignore it or try to change her. Guys, you cannot try to ignore this like it's not going to happen or it's going to go away later. And you can't try to talk to her and change her like she's not going to be resentful or mad at you for trying to change her from doing this thing. The only recourse I see is you got to get rid of her and find somebody else because there are plenty of women out there that understand that flirting with other dudes when she's in a relationship is not a good idea. If you have to try to teach the girl you're with that lesson, you're already losing, you know? But let me know your guys' thoughts below. Hey, I could be tripping. Let me know down below if you've ever dated a woman that was a highly flirtatious person or wore a lot of loose clothing and how you dealt with that. Did it end up being a problem for your relationship or did it end up being totally fine? Let me know in the, down, down in the comments below. Also, guys, be sure to like this video, subscribe to this channel, and if you need more help, you can sign up for one-on-one coaching as well as my various ebooks and audiobooks at
at introvertdatingsuccess.com. Thanks for watching. I'll check you guys next time. Peace.